welcome back. In this section, I want to talk about what is a plastic hinge. Let's look at the example. We're going to continue. We're going to explain everything. We've all seen this. We're going to have a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load, or non-uniform, doesn't matter. In this case, uniformly distributed load. And we have a pin in one direction and one support system, which is basically it's you have a RY and RX. And then on the other end is a roller for being a supp simply supported. Then we do the shear moment diagram, which you all know. Your maximum shear is on a reaction right here. And then your maximum moment for this particular loading is going to be down in the center. What happened if we just cut this beam right where any place we would like, call it X, anywhere between A and B. And if we cut it, we can replace it with the internal uh, forces of shear, moment, and axial. Let's focus on this internal moment, okay? Uh, now, if we take a look at this beam with the load on top of it, kind of exaggerate like bending it, down the middle of the beam, this we're going to say that's our neutral axis. Say this is an I-beam, so our neutral axis is down the center. So I'm interested in a bending moment. So the bending moment formula that we all know is F of B is equal MC over I. And a C is the distance from this neutral axis to the furthest point. Which So this really is MY. This should be, a, a, we know that is a MY over I, moment inertia. But when Y becomes the furthest point, we call it C. So uh, right here, we beam act like a, a truss. You got compression on top, bottom on, uh, and the bottom you have a tension. And the, the maximum bending stress right at the top where you y is equal c, and the maximum compression is at the bottom when y is equal c again. And if we look at the cross sectional area right here, we're going to have a bending moment. In our case, let's say our bending moment is less than yield. We talk about yield in a second. And then as we come down, down the center, this neutral axis, there's nothing. It's zero. There's no bending stress there. And to continue down, the maximum bending moment is right at the furthest point, which is right here. And in our case, one is less than yield stress. So what is yield stress? Take a look at what I have on the board. Look at this right here. You can see where the yield point is. <clears throat> below, before you get to the yield point, is the material, when you load the material, will deform, and if you unload it, it will come back to its original shape. However, if you go beyond the yield point, uh, some of the member will deform permanently, and it's not going to reverse back. And this is a plastic deformation. And the yield point we always call a maximum allowable stress. We don't want to go beyond the, e uh, beyond the yield point. So in this case, we went just below the yield point. We remained in the elastic section. So what happened if I increase the load? I'm going to increase the load. My moment's going to increase, which my moment is basically is equal to uh, uh, the uh, um, bending stress multiplied by the uh, section module. And if I do that until I get to the yield point, so I max out right at the both point. So my compression and tension basically is going to become the uh, uh, equal to the uh, Fy, the uh, yield stress. So let's continue. Go to the, uh, uh, and my moment is going to become right here. But I'm going to continue, go to case number three. I'm going to go ahead, uh, increase the load, go beyond uh, where we are. And so we'll continue the uh, rest of the uh, beam, which is not in uh, below the, uh, uh, this portion right here, which is not in yield stress, they start taking some of the duty and they start yield out. And this will not going to become any more. What happened, this other fiber, the cross section, is going to increase and it's going to take some of the uh, burden. And that will continue. So when we get to this point right here, this number three right here, our F of B is equal F of Y still. However, our moment is going to be bigger than. MOI. We increased it. So if we go ahead and go on continue to case number four, we're going to increase the load again. And this continues until we can become entirely 100% plastic distribution achieved. And everything is going to look like that. In this case, we're going to have our uh, 
moment is going to be plastic moment, which is equal to uh, Fy times Z. When you get to this point, the beam at certain section, it no longer can resist the moment. And it can basically twist with a little bit additional. So that's what we call plastic hinge. Later on, in another example, we will talk how we're going to calculate the uh, uh, plastic uh, section module. So watch for the next video. Hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up.